y'all know I've been into my brown. Let me find out I could do a little highlight brow. I don't know, like it's getting. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I install and style this lace closure wig from Love Me Hair. Make sure to keep watching and of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Love Me Hair's Brown and Black Mix Loose Wave 5x5 five five C part closure with bangs. It's in the length 20 inches. Now, I was a little scared taking it out of the box. I wasn't sure if it was gonna look good on me, but you know, we're about to make some shake, you feel me? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Shayna Violet, and I am back with another wig install. This one is again from Love Me Hair. I love this company down. Now this one is a little different than what I'm used to. It's another bang wig, but it's like a C. And before I show her to y'all, I need no judgments because I curled her like a week and a half ago and the curls have dropped and the bang looks crazy, but I got my tools here. Yeah, don't mind, don't mind her, okay? Yeah, this is her. We're gonna see what it's giving. First things first, you know we have to try on the wig to see if you wanna do a bald cap or not, and we are doing it today. I feel like it needed it. I did bleach the knots on this twice. The first time, I didn't leave it on long enough, and then the second time, it came out perfect. Since it's a closure wig, I'm going to measure out how much bald cap is needed, and essentially where I'm gonna put the hairspray. Once it's sprayed down, I'm cutting off the excess lace as close to my scalp as I can, then using some foundation to tint the cap, and eventually I'm gonna tint the lace on the wig. I did end up cutting out the wig band that was sewn inside just because it wasn't adjustable and I found that it was making the wig feel super tight on my head and just wasn't allowing the wig to sit where I wanted it to. Now y'all, this wig looks a little crazy. But we're about to get her together, okay? I had been mentioning how I wanted to get pinking shears for my wigs for like the cutting process and they finally came. I got these off of Amazon and I'll be sure to leave the link down below. I tried moving the hair out of the way as much as I could before cutting and y'all, I love it. Y'all, I think these little pinkish shears may be a game changer because this is the jacket that I be trying to get and I can never get it. So get y'all some pinkish shears because, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. get you some. Ooh, yes to the jagged cut. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, because where's the lace? Come on now. Y'all, find the lace. I'm marking where the closure ends again so I can apply the glue in the right spot. I use my Erica J glue, which I feel like I need to get a fresh bottle because I've had this bottle for like two years, even though it's lasting, but I'm sure it's not as good as it, it's not as fresh as it was two years ago, okay? But I did end up using two layers of it and it held down my hair so well. Um, to clean up any spots that were lifting, I just put a little bit of the glue on the tail end of my comb and then put it directly under those parts. And there you have it folks, some lace that looks like it's grown out your scalp. And we love that for us. To get some of that straggly glue that got on my forehead off, I'm just rubbing it away with some alcohol. Then I'm putting on my wig band to further get that melt going. While that's melting, I feel like a piece of chocolate. <laughs> um, I'm going to start on the styling. I wanted to do curls and I wanted them to be layered so I just got to cutting. I didn't have a plan for where I was cutting. I just made sure to cut in different places and at different lengths so I could just get some very distinctive layers. Especially since this wig was a little on the thinner side, she really needed some shaping. Once that's done, I'm going in with my new heat protectant, the Mazani Heat Screen. The directions say to use this when it, your hair is wet, and I'm sure it's because the actual spray is wet itself. Usually the ones that I use is like oil. Um, this is the first wet one I've used. So instead of spraying it directly on the hair, I'm spraying it in my hands and then just putting it all over the wigs. I don't want the wig to be too wet because then that's when you get the sizzling and the snap crackling popping, and your wig is just burned after that. So we don't want that to happen. While I was curling the wig and even after I finished, I made sure if there were any pieces that I felt needed more layering, I would just do that right then and there. I'm so bad at finishing or I'll do one step and just like, okay, that's it. Like I won't go back and fix it or make any changes, but I'm really trying to get better guys. So this is like a big step for me. So clap it up for me because I never go back in with my scissors ever. Like I barely go in with my scissors, but to go back in, that is a feat that we need to just give Shayna a round of applause on, okay? 
When it comes to the actual curling though, I'm still getting the hang of the actual direction you're supposed to curl in. And no matter how many videos I watch, I still get confused to this day. Let me know if y'all get confused too because I feel like I can't be the only one. I hope I'm not. I mean, if I am, then I mean, I guess I just need to watch some more videos, but it just does not work out for me. If the curls are too hot, get a heat resistant glove. My curling wand actually came with this, but I'll link some down below for you guys. For the pins, I do try to put them on while the hair is still warm so it really takes that shape and so I don't have to worry about it dropping while I do my makeup. Now, I didn't pluck this wig at all and I feel like it looks so good around the parting. I did just one soup of baby hairs just to give it that nice little crisp look. I feel like every closure just needs like one side of baby hair, just like one, and you're good to go. After my makeup's done, I go back in with my beauty blender that I use on the wig and just touch up the front of that closure. Now it's time to see what these curls are giving. We're taking out these pins and I'm loving it so far. I will say the curls did drop super fast. I ended up going out in this wig and the curls were gone by the end of the night. I think I was out for about three hours, so definitely spray that thing down with some hairspray if you want it to last all night okay just a word of advice She's cute. Like I mentioned before, this wig is a little bit on the thinner side. So to fake some of that volume, I'm picking up the hair very gently and spraying my TIGI holding spray and then letting it dry down a bit before dropping those pieces. And as you can see, it gives it a little lift. Um, not a lot, but a little is better than nothing. And you know, we're just gonna do our final tweaks to the wig. As you can see, the wig really came together in the end. I absolutely love this color on me. I love the curls, love the layering. It just really turned out well. And when I tell y'all, y'all need to get this wig, y'all need to get this wig, okay? And I'm just gonna leave my coupon code here for you guys. So if you wanna purchase this wig, you can get an extra percentage off. You know we love some money off. All right, y'all, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what y'all think about this wig down below. I am really feeling her. I do wish she was a little bit thicker, but like, she's cute nonetheless. I'm, I'll give her that, she is cute. I didn't know how a highlight and a C swoop um, side part was gonna work for me, but I actually really like this on me. I, need, I think I might need to do this a little more often, I don't know. This is the second bang wig that I've done for Love Me Hair and you can check that video out there. Honestly, both of them are a win. I, I honestly like this one a little bit more just because of the highlight and the parting situation. But overall, like we really love her. Like she's cute. She's really cute. I'm gonna leave my coupon code down below and the link to this wig. So make sure y'all click in that description box so you get all that info. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. And I am posting every week now. Every week there is a post. There is a video going up. I've been posting shorts, I've been posting videos. I'm gonna start commenting and all that good stuff. So y'all just start chatting it up with me, okay? Of course, if you like what you see, thumbs up this video. I honestly, like, I don't know if it's me, but I got a little makeup on my contacts. So I can't really see out this ass. So if it's looking hit, tell me because this this side look this side look 
great. This side I feel like could be a little bit more, but it could just be because my eyes, I don't know. As always, make sure to share. As always, make sure to share this video with your friends, family, homeboys, homegirls, coworkers, boss, aunties, uncles, everybody. Share it with them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.